guys it's getting tougher straighter and now more difficult to migrate to the united kingdom the government is not excited about net migration they were doing all the can to cut down net migration trust me guys the uk at the moment is not uk anymore now guys watch this and tell me what you think in the comment section make sure to like this video make sure to share this video and don't forget to subscribe watch this guys ryan little <laughs> the first of our five points will be to end the abuse of the health the first of our five points will be to end the abuse of the health and care visa we will stop overseas care workers from bringing family dependents and we will require care firms in England to be regulated by the Care Quality Commission in order for them to sponsor visas. Yeah, yeah. Approximately 120,000 dependents accompanied 100,000 care workers and senior care workers in the year ending September 2023. Only 25% of defendant, dependents are estimated to be in work, meaning a significant number are drawing on public services rather than helping to grow the economy. Yeah. Yeah. We recognise we recognise that foreign workers do great work in our NHS and health sector, but it is also important that migrants make a big enough financial contribution. Therefore. We will increase annual immigration health surcharge this year by 66% from £624 to £1,035 to raise, on average, around £1.3 billion for the health services of this country every year. Second, we will stop immigration undercutting the salary of British workers. We will increase the skilled worker earnings threshold by a third to 38,700 from yeah. next spring, in line with the median full term wage for those kinds of jobs. Those coming on health and social care visa routes will be exempt, so we can continue to bring in the healthcare workers on which our care sector and NHS rely. Thirdly, we will scrap cut price shortage labour from overseas by ending the 20% going rate salary discount for shortage yeah. occupations and reforming the shortage occupation list. I have asked the Migration Advisory Committee to review the occupations on this list because of our new higher skilled worker salary threshold and we will create a new immigration salary list with a reduced number of uh, occupations. People only bring dependents who they can support financially. By raising the minimum income for family visas to the same threshold as the minimum salary threshold for skills workers, which is 38,700. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The minimum income requirement of 18,600 has not been increased since 2012. Madam Deputy Speaker, this package of measures will take place from next spring. Finally, I'm so sorry to say this, but I have to be brutally honest. This is what they are planning to do. How to explain how I feel? Because I feel if it's greener in the countries where people are migrating from to the UK, a lot of people wouldn't migrate. So I feel somehow like, what is going on? I feel somehow, and I just believe God, honestly. Uh, my hope is just of God because I don't know what is going on. Honestly, I don't know what is going on. The, the second thing they are trying to do is overseas care workers will no longer be allowed to come along with their dependents. Imagine coming to work and leaving your dependents behind. I can understand this feeling. We came into the United Kingdom. I stayed without my family for some months. And guys, if I'm honest with you, it's not easy. 
it's honestly not easy now imagine coming to work in the uk and overseas care workers will no longer be allowed to bring in their dependents guys i just pray and hope for the best because the uk is no longer uk anymore and honestly speaking a lot of migrants who choose or who wants to come to the united kingdom might just begin to look for other countries where they are allowed to go and work and go as well with their dependents i just pray god helps us honestly this point is number three the occupation on the shortage occupation list which allows people to come to the uk on a lower wages is being reviewed honestly guys this is like saying no to recruiting from overseas honestly this is just what it means and like i said i just pray god helps us because even those in the united kingdom if you are really honest guys the cost of living now is crazy i, I don't know how to explain it if you have people in the united kingdom honestly guys it's just to pray for them i think it's all over the world now it things are just so expensive cost of living is just so high let's pray that god intervenes honestly the cost of living now here yeah, is no jokes guys it's no jokes guys honestly it's so painful that this is happening but it's just what it is and uh, it's affecting everybody it's generally affecting everybody it's affecting those it's generally affecting everybody so guys this is all i have for us today leave in the comments what you think in the comment section me personally i don't know what i think i'm just <laughs> i just depend on god that's all that's all